VSL UK and Keller Group PLC joint venture was awarded a contract by the Align JV that is delivering the Chiltern Tunnel and Colne Valley Viaduct on the London to West Midlands section of the HS2 route. It's part of the biggest transport infrastructure project in the United Kingdom, linking up eight of Britain's ten largest cities. On behalf of uh, Align Joint Venture, KBJV has done a pre-campaign of uh, ground investigation works and uh, pile tests. After that, uh, we have done the reinforcement of the southern portal, which is the entry of the TBM, the tunnel boring machine. We were also involved in the realization of uh, grouting and uh, diaphragmal works on uh, four ventilation shafts. An expert team of engineers from VSL is using specialist equipment designed specifically for the geology of the Chilterns to help deliver the works. A cross passage is a small gallery connecting two tunnels and this is a very critical aspect of any tunneling project. In HS2 project, VSL is participating in the construction of 38 cross passages by doing the ground treatment works to uh, allow the safe excavation by the mining team. At the end, these cross passages will be used as emergency purposes as well as ventilation. In the HS2 project, VSL has also been selected by Align JV for the erection of the deck and the post-tensioning of the Colne Valley Viaduct, which at 3.4 kilometres in length and with spans of up to 80 metres, will be the longest rail bridge in the UK. Recast is, uh, is an assembly or construction of a bridge deck in sections that are cast against each other. Those sections can be, or those segments can be, two to four metre lengths depending on the projects and all the requirements, at least in the case of HS2. And they are assembled after in position uh, with a launching entry. In this case, it's a launching entry that was previously used by Buick Tepe on other projects in Asia, which was refurbished and readjusted uh, in order to be used on the project of HS2. The bridge design has been adjusted as well in a manner to be able to reuse this machine, which has, in fact, quite a, an important impact in uh, carbon footprint and reusing equipment that are already available. In order to do that, the casting cells or the molds that we see in the back have been designed and fabricated by VSL specifically for the project in order to match the specs of the project. The segments are later assembled together by means of post-tensioning tendons, allowing to create a continuous structure composed of spans of 45 metres to 80 metres in length. With its extensive experience in erection of segmental bridges, VSL will undertake the erection of the viaduct's deck and post-tensioning. On this HS2 project, we are going to provide the post-tensioning with a PL3 protection level. This is the highest protection level made of plastic encapsulation around every tendon. Every tendon is isolated electrically from the structure, so we can prove during all the life of the structure that there is absolutely no penetration of any corrosive agents towards the inside of the tendon. On top of each group of piles, some bored 55 metres into the ground, a concrete pile cap will support the bridge's pier. A low set structure will be supported by 56 of these piers, with the wider spans reaching up to 80 metres. These, in turn, will support the full 6,000 tonne weight of the bridge structure above. High Speed 2 Phase 1 will open between 2029 and 2033, stretching over 134 miles and will carry trains at more than 200 miles per hour along the line. Crossing more than 10 miles of viaducts and passing through 64 miles of tunnels in doing so.